Hello, this is Lisa Angeletti with LisaAngelettiBlog.com and I want to welcome you to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how to create a blog broadcast newsletter in Aweber. Okay, so the first thing you'll obviously want to do is log into your Aweber account and as you'll scroll across the top you'll see messages, you'll scroll over that and scroll down to blog broadcast and you'll click on that and then you'll see this screen right here. What a blog broadcast is, is you're going to create a newsletter from your RSS feed and it can be sent automatically to your list uh, every week, every month, however often you want to send it. So it's a really great convenient way to kind of start engaging your list with content without having to do too much work. You kind of set this whole thing and you forget it. That's what's so great about it. So we're going to click on create a new blog broadcast which will take us to this form right here. So the first thing that they want to know is our RSS feed URL. I'm going to go over to FeedBurner and get my my URL. Oh, sorry, it's moving a little slow. Okay. And then I'm going to paste it here. Um, my subject, you can name you can name your newsletter anything you want. So I'm going to name my newsletter um, Lisa Angeletti's Weekly Copy and Content Wrap Up. Okay, the next thing you want to take a look at is what kind of template you want to use for your blog broadcast. And as you see, a Weber gives you a variety of templates to choose from that are beautiful and can be customized depending on what you want to do. Just letting you see a couple here. Lots of cool choices. Now I'm going to try and keep my branding consistent with the newsletter that I send out to my list. So I'm going to pick a basic plain template so that I can add my banner. So I'm going to load that up and this is what you see here. You'll see the um, personalization links um, that they use to pull from your feed. So at the top of this I'm just going to enter the, um, the URL for my banner. So I, I grab that code and I'm going to click on this little image thing here. And I'm going to paste in that. And then it inter uh, inserts my banner. The RSS channel title is going to be the title of your RSS feed which I don't want to use for this. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to just add Lisa's copy and content wrap up and I'm gonna make this a little big because it's the title of my newsletter oh and say they changed they put personalization items in the subject which you could leave but um, I don't want that so let me add that again Okay. All right. Now I've got my banner. I've got my items. Now we've got to set some parameters for our blog broadcast. All right. The send time. You can set up your broadcast to go out immediately, which means after something's published on your blog or at a specific time. I like my stuff to go out at a specific time. So I'm going to send mine out 10 a.m. Eastern. And how often should we send your blog broadcast? Should we send it when the number of new items is at least one or two or three or four, meaning it won't send it out until you have two new items on your blog or three or four? Um, you could choose to send it out based on that, or you can choose to send it out on a specific day. I'm going to choose a specific day. 
So what that means is I'm going to choose, uh, I can choose every particular day of the week or I can choose a particular day of the month. I'm going to send this out weekly, so I'm going to send this out every Thursday. You could also add another day if you like, but you really only need to send this out once. Now here, send automatically. This is an important box to check because if you do not mark the send automatically checkbox, you will need to manually review your broadcast. So what that means is you'd have to log into Aweber and manually queue it up like you would a regular broadcast. We don't want to do that. We want this thing to kind of go out every time we publish based on the parameters that we've set. We're going to track our, cli our clicks on the website because it's always a good idea to to do that and I'm going to enable social media sharing because um, I, I you know it's always a chance for a new reader to find me on Twitter or Facebook so I'll do that and I click quick stats just because you know I'll take a look at my stats so I'll save this blog broadcast and guess what? It's done. Congratulations, your blog broadcast has been created. Here it is right here. It's going to go out 10 a.m. every Thursday, and I'm, and I'm good. Now, if I want, I can test this, and I'll send it to an address, and I'll see what it looks like. But um, I already know what it's going to look like. So, But you could test yours out, and I recommend that you do, just to make sure that it looks the way that you want. And there you go. That's how you create a blog broadcast that engages your list on a regular basis that you set and forget in AWeber. Thank you so much. And listen, uh, if you'd like to thank me for this tip, I'd appreciate it so much if you'd go to YouTube and click on the subscription button. And uh, I plan on doing a few more tutorials around AWeber and some other things. So I'll really appreciate that. All right, until next time, bye-bye.